Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room for actually the Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, October the 6th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your room. Any questions for me, you can use this email address. And you can log in using this. So what will happen is you'll um, just copy and paste that into your browser, click on it, you'll be sent to a form page, you'll create, you'll send us your email, we'll send you one back and you create your password one time and you can come into the room for free. This is a free room. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas to participate in our room. I open the room usually around 9 o'clock Eastern time. That's when I start to share my screen and I get live on the mic at about 9.05. And if you'd like to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas, you can use this link just to give you an idea. Trade Ideas will cost you about $4.40 a day for our premium service using the promo code that is there and about $2.08 a day for our standard service with the same promo code. You can take out monthly subscriptions both on their standard and premium and the promo code is good only for the first month though. All right, well, what a day. <laughs> this one uh, was incredibly exciting. Uh, L-I-N-U uh, came up in one of my scans. I can't actually, to, to be honest, I cannot remember uh, which one it was, but it was, I think, uh, probably like one of the fast movers, but it would come up on a lot of scans. And um, I was fortunate enough to get into this one at $1.25 right here. And let's take a look at the uh, daily chart. Yeah, you see there was, so $1.25, so it was right there. So this was a bit of a, I, I, I remember when I got into this, I said, I, I you know, was kind of worried if it would, if it would pop through this right here. And so, uh, in fact, I, I, I was really going to wait for this, but I decided to take it anyway, a little bit early and man, was I rewarded. And a lot of people in the trading room were re rewarded on this one. So a dollar twenty-five, and of course I sold on the way up. Um, you know, two seventy-nine. What did it get up to here? It actually got up to three twenty. Sold, you know, two seventy-nine, uh, two hundred eight, two sixty-eight. Is it two sixty-eight? Yeah, two sixty-eight. Didn't quite get, but nonetheless, I mean, just a fantastic trade for many, many of us in the room. And of course, what I love about it is look how fast that is. I mean, these are 15 minute candles. So within 40, certainly within probably 30 minutes, you're all out of the trade. Might have even been sooner. Can't remember exactly when I got in, uh, you know, because remember this, this zoomed right up here and then that's 15 minutes. And, but you know, I'm sure it was within about 20 minutes. I was all out of this trade. So just a great, great, great trade. Um, what can you say? And I say many, many people in the trading room were, were in this one. Um, I tech, I tech. Holly, again, for the second day in a row, did not have a particularly good day. Uh, I did like this one. Let's take a look at the daily chart. I think you'll see that, uh, yeah, you see this had a tremendous day yesterday. Uh, it sold off towards the end and thought, okay, well, maybe. Back this up a little bit here. See, Holly was in this one quite a bit earlier. It didn't work out at all, you know, not at all. Uh, let's not uh, mince words and not work out, uh, I mean, like maybe on an individual, on a daily basis. And then it really collapsed. And now it's starting to come back. So Holly got uh, alerted to this one at 304 today. And so I thought, okay, this looks interesting. Uh, had the fantastic day yesterday. Did sell off, closed basically where Holly uh, alerted us. And I thought, okay, maybe it's going to have a second day continuation. Uh, bottom line is that it did not work out. And in fact, I was very, very fortunate to get out of this one. You can see I got in, I actually took the trade at 308. So I took the trade right here. And it looked, it looked pretty good for, for a bit here. Got up to 319. I thought, okay, we're on. And then it just absolutely sold off. And I was very lucky to get out, actually, and this is why you have to watch these like a hawk. Uh, I got out at 296, so I took a 12 cent loss on this one, but it could have been a lot worse because, I mean, look, look at it, it went all the way down to 264. So that's why you've got, you know, you can't take your eye off uh, of these fast movers. Uh, you know, it's got 26 million in the float, so it's not a super, super low floater. I mean, some of them, you know, I've got like <laughs> two or three million in the float, but you really cannot take your eye off these. So, um, that was that was the that was that trade. 
Um, there were a couple of other little trades that I did. Actually, it was a pretty light day for me, which was good. I, you know, I've been feeling, feeling the effects of a bit of a, I don't know, I don't know what they call flu bug or whatever for the week. So, uh, energy level very, very low. But uh, you know, so I didn't really want to trade that much uh, again, especially after the Linu trade. Don't really have to. I did take this one though, ICPT. Um, I, I, you know, I missed out. I mean, uh, Real and others caught this move uh, at the beginning of the uh, day. Uh, basically, I think he said actually in the in the in the pre-market that this looks good over 70. And you know, look what it did. I mean, you know, you had to chop around a little bit, but you know, from 70 all the way up to 75, 78. So uh, that was just a tremendous move. And then it traded off. And then you know the pre-market was sort of holding but then i watched i saw this so hmm this is really starting to trade off quite a bit this is remember this tan area there is the pre-market and and market open and it really traded off so i had this on a thumbnail all right you know i say i had a, a thumbnail chart so this wasn't so much an alert for me it was just that i was watching it and i was intrigued by this action here not so much that topping tail but you know these bottoming tails that happen and again, what, what does that mean? It means the sellers really tried to knock it down. The buyers brought it back up. Sellers tried again. Buyers brought it back up. Now they really tried. The buyers really tried to move this up. Sellers took over again. So, you know, we've got a lot of uncertainty right here. Uh, you know, another little topping tail, little bottoming tail. Then all of a sudden we get this action. You know, remember, I'm watching this uh, as a thumbnail chart. And then we get this. I thought, okay, maybe now it's uh, it's ready to roll. Now, by rights, I I should have maybe taken the trade right there, but I got in a little bit late. Got in at sixty eight thirty eight. You know, actually a, a lot late. What am I saying? Should have got in on one. You know, as it was moving up here, so I got in pretty late, sixty eight thirty eight. But the reason I did this, and you know, I of, I often say because okay, so I don't want to chase a stock, but. You know, I thought, okay, all the people that did this, uh, okay, maybe they're thinking it could really start coming back. It had a lot of room that it could have uh, moved. So I got in here, and look what it did. It got all the way up to 70, 60. Love to say I held everything and sold it there. Not quite. Uh, I sold at 70, 69, 60 and 69, 76. So over a dollar uh, on the move. So on a percentage basis, it wasn't unbelievable, but still uh, turned into uh, uh, quite a nice trade. So that is really about it. I know some in the room, I don't know who, but I know some in the room were in this uh, Herbalife trade. Unbelievable. Um, I did not get into this one, uh, but I know a lot in the room. And why I say that is that if this is a free room. I don't know how many times I have to say it, um, but it's a free room. We have some fantastic traders in the room. This is not a room in which you're going to listen to me tell you what to buy and sell all day long. If that's why you're into the, in the room, then you're going to be very disappointed. Uh, of course, if I'm in a trade, I will say it and I'll tell you. And when I get out, uh, you know, along the way, I, I will, I will tell you yes, for sure. But there are so many other great traders in this room that, and that you can kind of follow along. And so uh, you, you, by all means, if you want to follow me, you, you can certainly do that. But you will you will soon uh, get to see who the traders are in the room that really uh, know their stuff. And you can follow along with them. But obviously, the, the whole idea of the room really is that, you know, I am showing you how trade ideas works. That's why when I share my screen, you're seeing all of the alert windows that I'm using. You're seeing some of the uh, AI Holly trades. You know, I don't, I, I, I have a, pro, a little bit of a problem because that is a premium service. So, you know, I don't showcase them as uh, much as the other alerts because it's not fair to people who are paying for, the, for, for those alerts. But, you know, I do the best I can even after the fact to show you some of the Holly alerts. But the bottom line is that you should want to know how to trade on your own. I mean, by all means, come into the room. It's always great to be in a room where everybody is like-minded and we, and we trade stocks and we help each other. But ultimately, you should, you should be wanting to learn how you can trade on your own. And that's why we showcase, that's why the room is free. We try to, sh we try to showcase our product. And, um, you know, at some point you might say, you know, I really like this trade ideas and you'll take out a subscription. But anyway, th that's it. I don't want to get on the soapbox too much, but that that's really is the purpose of the room. So I'm going to close this down now. And again, I will open the room uh, around nine o'clock Monday morning. And now it is a holiday in Canada. Uh, it's a Thanksgiving day in Canada. 
Um, I will be there. I may be kind of a little sporadic, but I will certainly open the room and I might trade a little bit, but uh, you know, it is a holiday in Canada. Um, again, if you want to ask me any questions, just uh, use this email address and to sign up for the room, just follow this link and follow the steps involved. And if you want to take out a subscription, you can use this link right there. So let me just bring up the capture program and everybody have a great, great weekend. And if you're Canadian and you're not going to trade, have a great long weekend. And I hope to see you in the trading room on Monday. Bye-bye.